another decent option. Pretty high at base armor, so that's always good against that right-click harass coming out from the mid. Mid one. And it doesn't look like any big surprises elsewhere. Yep, so we'll be playing Jakira. So a greedier four-position Jakira coming into play. Any other big surprises as far as hero pickups go? I guess they want to have some kind of tower damage, uh, give more levels to Jakiro. Usually Jakiros don't uh, put more than one point in, in fire early on. So with the levels, it's going to be easier to siege. It is the hero of the two that can better, like, split push these waves. Like, often you send these supports to just go push out a wave somewhere dangerous on the map. Jakiro, you can just lay down a map pyre or something. Puppy's always been a... Oh, I think seen a bit of Puppy. He's definitely one of those supports that will sometimes just pick the heroes he likes. The CM, Shadow Demon. The early points in uh, Crystal Maiden's aura are not going to be that effective on, uh, on their heroes besides the Storm Spirit. Like, Beastmaster oh, yeah. doesn't spam his spells. He, he goes for Boar and, uh, and the aura. Io is really not uh, mana dependent. Players win loss records over time. 1500 wins 1000 losses. That's a good win percent. But uh, yeah, the CM Storm, of course, is that combo that Prepare Alliance love to run. You have the CM Talent, level 15, the mana cost, mana loss reduction aura, which you typically don't get because GPM is so damn good. But with a Storm, that's the one time I feel like I see that change of talent. Yeah, but GPM, come <laughs> on, Parker. What do you, you think he's going GPM this game? If he gets Pile to level die? 15, he's going to get. I mean, it's it's cool, but uh, at that point, once uh, CM gets uh, to level 15, it's going to probably be around like 25 minute mark. So Storm Spirit will have a lot of mana region with the items and four points in Arcane Aura anyway. Boss here, just walking to the enemy ramp. Take some I can find a different uh, definition than a boss. <laughs> <laughs> I, won't, I won't ask what word you would have used. Maybe it's uh, one of the I words. I want to get fired if they want. Is it? Uh, <laughs> anyways, here we see. I like how the little portraits in the, the pl next to the player health bars. I remember someone telling me, like, oh, it looks weird. I, I think it's really cool. It's a the battle begins. But here we go. It's going to be... You mentioned a potential aggro tri lane. It does look like that is indeed the plan from Secret. Give Tide the 1v1 against Beastmaster. But hey, Snaking says no. Newbie say no. He's going down to the safe lane. So both teams sending their quote-unquote off lane is to the safe lane where things don't look particularly safe. Yeah, but the Tide Hunter has Stout Shield. That's what yeah. you don't usually see early on because the yeah. instances don't stack. Oh, and I love this. They are going to push out this bottom lane, Radiance making it hard for Snaking. Oh. Instantly gets disrupted. Trying to keep him away from this tower CS, as CM says, I'll take some of that. Uh, but this lane's going to push out, which makes it so much harder to play the lane when it pushes away from the safety of your tower. And that was the kind of idea behind that body block there. And now Tidehunter is on the top lane, has half of the level already. Io can't really bully Tidehunter. Yeah, Stout should block just a bit too too much here. Plus the Anchor Smash damage mitigation. Does look like they will block the neutral camp from spawning as they are going to go in. This could be a first blood very early on. Pile I die. Yep. Yeah, he already TP'd and Crystal Maiden is one of the slowest heroes in the game. 277, so walk of shame for him. Triple Mango CM just waddling to lane. <laughs> <laughs> that one's going on the Facebook wall, guys. <laughs> Poor pile I die. That's going to get a lot of likes. <laughs> oh, I've got some good memes ready for it. Don't you worry. No, I also need my hockey for making my camera control. Two birds with one stone. Get the likes while also making my camera function. Here we go. So, Paul's being continually blocked, sneaking, trying to make sure there's just no pull camps to work with here. 
as CM does show back up to this lane. The Hawk being used to block this big camp to stop Secret having a side pull to play around with. But this is a very tough lane so far for Newbie. Tide Hunter, he's playing one versus two on top of CS chart. Has the same amount of CS as Windranger. Yep. You see good news for Secret. And then you look at the mid lane where Windranger and Storm pretty dead even as far as CS and farm goes. Not much separating them. I feel like <laughs> that necessarily favors either of the two. And kind of a lane, at least I would expect to go relatively even. I'm not a mid specialist, but. Yeah, Stormster is gonna find his farm anyway, especially with CM Mora bottom lane. Do manage to go on sneaking here with some body blocks and the disruption. They find themselves another kill. Puppy, already with these boots, is finding these disruption initiations and they've got that mana sustain from the Ring of Bassi. TP's back, but man, this is a really tough lane for Newbie to play. Another disruption on bottom. Looks like another kill too. Yeah, they get the surround. The CM illusion. Who's taking it? It's Yapsor, of course. And I say of course, Puppy's actually the one who's gotten two kills before that. So Yapsor finally getting a kill to his name. We're used to seeing him being the kill secure. Denied! Case so far as this tri lane aggressively working wonders for Team Secret. Nisha free farming away, getting lots of denies as well. Back at top, Tidehunter may be in some trouble here. The Kraken blocks all the damage, but the Rocket Barrage is, of course, magic damage. He is salving through this one, but the Io needs to start taking some damage. Does start doing so, but the Fog means he's going to live with the boots, and he's got to salve as well. It's bottom lane instead, where CM dies once more. No TP, 55 seconds. Another walk of shame for Crystal Maiden. It, it's really tough for them. Yeah. If uh, That's right. Shadow Demon gets closer and uses Disruption, it's guaranteed kill. And you, CM's not even going back to the bottom lane. I think it's just a death trap. Anyone who goes there, there kind of just dies. The problem is Beastmaster also can't push out this lane. So Beastmaster's like, guys, I need help. But CM also is like, I can't help. I'm just feeding. Io isn't really a trial. Like, Io's not going to help either. They, there's just nothing they can do to salvage this bottom lane, it feels. Secret have just crushed the early game. And solutions for bottom are kind of limited. You're hoping that your other lanes go really well to mitigate... <laughs> the damage that's been done in bottom lane. Yeah, this is why we discussed the support duo, Crystal Maiden and Io. Yeah. If the laning stage doesn't go well for you, you can't really rotate. This is what you do, you stack camps. This is your comeback. You've got Gyrocopter, you're looking to make all the stacks in the world. CM would maybe even like to start farming jungle, but doesn't have any points in the Frostbite. For now, CM's just sitting around mid lane. I mean, Pilot I, I would say he's kind of looking a bit lost, but it's less that he's lost and more that there's just no good place for him to go. There's no lane where he can really help out right now. If he was level 3 at one point in Frostbite, at least he can jungle, stack the camps. Puppy block that camp. Yep. It may have been spotted, so that should be an easy D ward potentially. Crystal Maiden, who is... Turn around this mid lane, Puppy. Looking to maybe put another ward in. They may have seen that one as well. They'll see Puppy walk by now without a ward. So that likely is going to be two easy D wards. Oh, oh yeah. they're pinging it out. Beastmaster is paying attention. Rotating kill Puppy. I, it's not sure if it's necessarily worth doing it. But yeah, they should know where those wards are. They're going to stack another camp. So CM is now just on stack Radiant's duty. Middle tower is under attack. And honestly, this is the best thing Pilot I can do. I, I like the decision. I think he's making the right call. He scouts out two wards as well. So I think he's just going to get two D wards here. We'll see him. So didn't gonna find out of range. range. Yeah. Wanting this. Okay. They didn't quite see where those oh, wards were down. He didn't find oh. even one. Oh my God. That's, that's a lot of resources. <laughs> Blocking the camp and yeah, this one here, you would have seen Puppy walk by, but I guess he just didn't quite figure out where the ward was planted, and oh man, that is, that's brutal. This early on in the game, 200 gold for a CM. Yeah. Dyer's that's, top tower you know, right top. now, he should buy two more sentries and just de-ward that, because you're going to get the gold back anyway. He's got 100 gold. All right, he's got the courier going out now. Yeah, he's got, he has got two more sentries. It's absolutely worth it, of course. But you, you need to find them. But you them. need to find them first. 
And they'll see this camp. Yeah, this camp doesn't respawn, so they should know that camp's attack. the other side. To the left, to the left. <laughs> this is the most exciting thing going on right now. <laughs> Pilot Eyes deep warning mission. Oh, he's looking to see if the ward was in those trees. He's like, where is this damn ward? And oh no, Puppy finds him now as well. Looking for the surround. Oh no, he's missed another sentry. Pilot Eyes. What, what's happening with Jakiro? He's having a seizure. Did you see that? I didn't know. Maybe just on uh, my screen. <laughs> he bought another sentry, by the way. He's not even, he's given up on getting boots. He just can't find the ward. With that said, Puppy also pops a sentry and doesn't find the Radiant Ward. So, you know, both teams struggling on the D warding bed. Normally the team who gets the ward down first, which in this case was Pile I Die, has the advantage because you can see where the enemy then ward. But surely, this camp, maybe they, didn't kill it in time, that's why he's thinking it to call. Alright, try number three, let's go. Pilot the ward. This is number four century, actually. I meant attempt number three. Oh, attempt number three, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Round one, he had two, and then he, yeah. Come on, come on, Pilot. He's ringing the courier yeah, he's got, he's got Yes! Radiant he's got one. Is under attack. It kind of, I mean, that century pays for itself. The, it doesn't pay for the four centuries, but it pays for one. <laughs> and this one, this one's a no-brainer. He it's bought another one. With his gold. Nice. I mean, that's his job. You're, you're on CM duty here. We're putting a lot of focus on watching this. There isn't a whole lot of action going on elsewhere. There's both mid laners are farming their jungle. Supports are taking over the mid lane. And there's a fight broken up on lane. As I say, there's no action, of course. There is. Salve up. Beastmaster will stay alive. Nisha popped the god string for that one. Boots Midas already. This is a very farm Beastmaster. But also a farm Gyrocopter. There's the Ravage. Call down. Doing a lot of slow, but the Ravage is going to be used purely defensively to keep himself alive. I think you're okay uh, with it's that. It's worth it. Yeah, you're not going to use Ravage anyway, unless your you're teammates rotate to try to grab a kill. You're farming. Sven's got Midas. He used God Strength. He's just farming. Wind Ranger's just been farming jungle as well. Not giving Gyro a kill to Snowball off of seems like the, the right call there. They still haven't... Ward! Oh... Tragedy. Oh! As I'll see him up to now. Doing some pulls, some stacks. No boots. 900. Triple digit net worth is always a, a sad yep. sight. Beastmaster is level 6. They should try to grab a kill on his lane. Storm Spirit needs to rotate. Th this, this, is, this is where things are starting to feel like a little bit like Die. you should be I'll catching on that ward. He just smoked underneath the ward where that camp wasn't respawning. It's gonna guess wrong on another sentry ward but looks like he was just smoking up his storm spirit so he's going to show mid to get some farm they want to try set things up for the storm spirit to find a kill up here it was the bounty runes that they were looking to play around but team secret weren't even going for these bounty runes at 10 minutes at least not the top ones bottom house snake doing has hit level six so having a better game here but tempted dive coming in from puppy this is where Snape just needs to TP the hell out of this one. They try to scout him out, but both sides kind of mirroring the opposing team's movement yeah. to just taking tier 1 towers. This is actually still looking fine. As disastrous as bottom lane was, it's not much of a gold difference. Gyrocopter is just as farmed as Sven, has stacks to fall back on. This is not a one-sided game by any means. It's 5-0, but uh, those early Radiant's kills don't matter that much. Both cool. of these teams playing around the catapult timings, so tier 1 tower are gonna go down. Yep. Mid tower's pretty pretty healthy. And as much as Pi has struggled to get some D wards, the Radiant Vision this game has been on point. They've got wards of their own around the map, and they've been using these Hawks Dyer's to scout with, as well as the Boars. So Secret's attack. struggling to find these like mid-game kills that can open up the game because of Radiant's the great newbie tower vision. Is under attack. We're going to see Storm finishing off that Kaya soon, so his net worth, out farming the Wind Ranger, just able to jungle that a little bit more efficiently. Storm Spirit still not involved in any of the kills. I mean, they don't have a single kill, that's why. <laughs> involved. <laughs> he's it just hit me. What do you me. mean? He, he <laughs> Lacoste, come on, he's been involved in all zero of their kills. Yeah. That's 100%, right? <laughs> he's 100% kill involvement. How dare you lie to me? 
man. Radiance no, I mean, it's, 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 their line team is not drafted to be getting kills right now. They're, they're a team that comes online when they, like, storm with Kaya. Maybe with Beastmaster having Medallion, we'll see Radiant making some plays. But Iojara want to just farm and wait for a Roar to set up a relocate gig, which can theoretically start happening now. So we'll see if there is any notions to get a bit more aggressive coming in from Team Newbie. We'll see. TM has the wind lace and the boots. Yeah, she's been farming the jungle. Yeah. Bought the tone for herself. She's good to go. Like, she doesn't need item. Maybe a bracer in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah. Doing some jungle farming. So, much more passive game compared to the last. Even though last had like a Midas Lark, a Naga, a lot of greed, double Midases on one side against the lifestyle of Midas. It felt like there was a lot more action. This time around, both teams happy to play it slow. Does this, does this just favor one team straight up over the other, or are we going to have to wait and see how these first fights happen? Sven is just a hero that loves to farm, especially since he has a hand of Midas, so once he gets that Echo Saber, he has a blink queued up. Uh, I don't think uh, BKB is necessarily early on because you're playing against the Beastmaster anyway and you have a uh, save from uh, from the Shadow Demon. But isn't Gyro just a hero that loves to farm as well at this stage he of the does, game? He does, yeah. Uh, especially with the item build that he's going for. Yeah. Aghanim Scepter. It's kind of a Dying greedy build. But the, the game is passive so he can afford to go yeah. for it. And I always feel like when you get to like super late game, Storm is like one of the best heroes in Dota. Speaking of before that stage, there is going to be a relocated, but the Rabbit Chakrapai is waiting for them. Great by a shackle. shackle shot. The Gyrocop, the Iron, just get blown to pieces. Storm gets the one kill, but he needs a way out of this one. Has a ball lightning, but not enough mind to escape, and they lose three. I don't think they were expecting two heroes on the other side of those trees as mid one gets a triple kill. Yeah, also, Tidehunter's not the hero that you want to go for. Like, you can't lock him down because of the Kraken. This feels like it could be a tier one tower, 30 seconds. Uh, for Storm Spirit, Sven popped the God Strength. Yeah. It feels like one of those, they got impatient, you know? It's like, we've been farming too long, we have zero, they probably look up and they're like, we have zero kills, guys. Yeah, they just wanted to have one on the board. Yeah. Ooh, he was looking for a roll on the Sven there. Nice defensive disruption, though. Radiant Stops it from happening. And I think they realize that Gyro is very strong right now. Even without the Ag Scepter, he's quite tanky with all these components. He's up to 1,200 health. Level four Rocket Barrage cooldown is good damage, but you also have to, you know, not relocate into a Ravage Macropire. That was the perfect combo coming out from Team Secret. He also caught the Storm mid-air. Yeah, Storm tried to time it to, to dodge the Ravage, but that's such a hard play Bounty to make. Bounty runes. Okay. Here now. Storm. They don't want to take bottom. this fight. They have no Tide Hunter, no God Strength. Okay, about to be back up. If they can find a Roar. Storm Orchid queued up as his first item, so classic Kaya Orchid build. You don't count Kaya as an item? No. No. You don't? <laughs> <It's just> of <laughs> course it is. You, you said it. Orchid first item. No, well, I guess so. Orchid first, yeah. I mean, I, I'd say so. like, it's like the first item item. <laughs> it's like the same way you don't count treads as an item. It's like a build up. It's like if you go drums into BKB, I would say like your BKB is the first, first item. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's the roar. Yep. No rabbits this time. It's almost up. 20 seconds away. The pull down coming in to play. Should be enough with the homing missile to damage there. The wall crack to keep alive. The storm forced the ball in further. Does have the mana for it to get in as well as get out. Nice kill. Just tied. Not the biggest of kills, but I think there is something mental for forward about newbie about getting some of these kills. You know, you've. They're just playing this game where you don't want to just sit there farming sing on zero kills. So they want to make some plays, even if, you know, that kill doesn't turn into a tower. That's not the biggest of kills, but psychologically, they feel good about getting a kill. And I think this example just shows how good of an item Bracer is. He bought the Bracer eight, 16 minutes in after he died on a Tide Hunter. Get some extra yeah. magic resistance. Uh, he I, I don't, yeah, I don't think a pipe would have been a bad choice here as well. Even just yeah. against the storm, against the crystal maiden, for sure. Rocket barrage and uh, pull down. Often, even just like the casual hood, maybe if you're not going to go for the full pipe, just to make yourself that little bit unkillable. But 
not the case. Alright, Gyro just happily farming up some jungle here, and Gyro completed Ag Scepter. So, his farm gonna accelerate even further now. Secret wants to take a fight right now. They have yeah. Sven, 200 gold away from a Blink Dagger, uh, B fully, full BKB on Windranger, on top of Javelin. This is definitely one of their item timings. Hello, Shuffle Shot to Ice Path Macropire. That should be a dead CM. They drove, throw the raw here. Windranger defensively disrupted, but that's going to set up a cooldown. Potentially hits him once. Not going to follow it up as there is a Ravager they're going to be worried about. It's going to be another Shack Master getting shackled up. He's able to go for this kill. The Ravager is going to come flying out now. The Sven showing up as well. The Ayer with the relocate save. Get him out of there, but he's going to be relocating back in. Are ah, they going to look to fight this one? Gyrocopter has already kind of returned to this fight here. Doesn't look like the play is to fight. They're going to leave the Ayer to die. Now, though, with Ravage down, if you're a newbie, you say, let's go. Let's yeah, it, see what it's we can time fight. to go. They don't have the roar for 50 seconds, but uh, they should be able to get something. Storm Spirit uh, getting closer to that Orchid, but uh, I think it's go time. They don't have the Ravage, uh, Macro Pyre, I mean, Macro Pyre on cooldown for 10 seconds. It feels like if there's a time to play aggressive, go for kills, it's whenever Ravage is down. But that might backfire. Windranger has double damage, and uh, oh. she didn't even pop a BKB in the previous fight. They have seen that BKB, but it's something where they may not overcommit for like, like not go for a five man smoking, but just go for like that two man, find a roar, then relocate in. Like, Ayo Jaro, yeah, they're playing the top lane. You don't want to slow down your farm too much. CM with Storm, smoked up. Using a scan like that uh, against experienced team, like a team secret, I think it reveals what you're actually doing. Because you, they know you want to play aggressive. Since your ult is on cooldown, they're not trying to scan it defensively, right? Secret playing on the other side of the map. Avoided the aggression of newbie. Radiance bottom Ravaged down. 50, 50 seconds. They aren't really looking to fight. And newbie may get themselves a tier 2 tower out of this. But I think if you're a secret, you're okay Radiant giving up a tier 2. You are also making plays elsewhere on the map. It's Windranger. Well, I would say finding a kill, but the tree's causing some problems. With the frostbite. And relocated with the freezing field. That's a lot of bonus armor. Forces out the BKB. That homing missile not going to do a whole lot. So a BKB for a CM kill. I think that's worth it for newbie. Relocate bottom. Yeah, sword. Oh, they Sven's just gonna turn in five. What's the IO kill? But I don't think he's got the damage for it. Instead, Nietzsche's just getting kited around, and they've got one kill. Probably looking for a second here. Yep, so has another ice path. They leave behind the Beastmaster, who should be able to get this kill. Gyrocopter no longer there. Does look like Yapsor with the forest slows. Yep, they get that kill. Ravage back up now, and I don't think you want to chase for more. Gyrocopter did get pulled back to keep on farming. Team Secret overextended a little bit. Uh, the Shackle didn't connect on CM. Nice uh, play by Pylite Die there. Ring a ring a Rosie around the trees. Yep. And uh, fourth of 10 second BKB. That feels good when you're like that five position that sets up a nice sequence of events for your team. Just dying, dying alone for the 10 second BKB feels like you're okay with it. But then it, not just that, but you also lead into a relocate bottom you're the Sven going down so quite what secret were hoping for as far as how they play around the the ravage being up cooldown now the pickup potential is extremely good they can basically be four with just the uh, beastmaster being on different side of the map trying to set things up storm spirit with the uh, almost 2000 mana pool plus a relocate that is a lot of global potential in it Something that's difficult to play into because, you know, newbie just also have this ability just to kind of stall out this game now, keep these lanes pushed as well. So someone like CM can just go push lanes and then pilot eye, you know, of course the pilot eye joke, you know, it's he's just going to go to lanes and kind of die over and over again to create some space. This is well worth it. Even if he gets ganked up here, he's getting some farm. None of his teammates want to be farming this lane because it's such a dangerous part of the map to be. So he's just going to kind of suicide push lanes and... Yeah, I would not mind to see Beastmaster picking up uh, something like a Shadow Blade. Yeah, I was thinking. This is what the Universe was doing when uh, he was on his prime. Yeah. Just being on a different side of the map, uh, Shadow Blade, Interroar, Interrelocate, pretty easy setup.
Yeah, when you're playing with the Eye Gyro. Either that or the Blink Radiant's Dagger. But for now, Solar Crest into Vlad's is queued up. He wants to enable his carry. Gyrocopter. Solar Crest is, Solar such, a Crest item, is yeah. such a boss yeah. item, especially against the Wind Ranger and Sven. It is a little bit busted. Huge zip. Yep, they catch out the Sven. He doesn't have his BKB yet. He's short on gold, and that's going to be an easy quick kill. Tidehunter, who was just not in the neighborhood, does have a Blink Dagger, but they lost him too quickly. Shadow Demon was a bit too far away, and also his uh, disruption was in cooldown, so he's not safe. And even if uh, the Tide's there for a Ravage, this Gyro has BKB now, so hitting him with this Ravage is just that okay. little bit more Solar reliable. Crest. Do they want to go for Roche? I, I think that's the play. This is risky, though. Blink Ravage potentially could come in, as well as a new freshly picked up MKB on Windranger. And looping all the way around. The cats are by surprise. Roshan dropping fairly low, down to about a quarter healthy. Blink Ravage comes in, they don't get the BKB off in time. It's caught by surprise. Follow up Ice Bus is there. Jarakov getting very low. He's gonna drop before he can BKB. As Wind Ranger going in with that focus fire now gets roared. Damage has been done though. The buyback from the Storm Spirit, they want this Roshan. Who's gonna grab at the Aegis? Is it gonna hit the deck and get snatched by the Tide Hunter? Great play from Zai. Storm would have loved to get it. He couldn't fight, but he is cleaning up here with the buyback. Nisha now shows up, doesn't have BKB, but doesn't have any problems with that as he completely annihilates. Oh, they're gonna Noobie find in the pit. Io in the pit as well. Oh dear. Ice bat. Three, two, one, go. Picked off. Gyro decided not to BKB. What a team fight. We'll take another look at that one, but it all comes down to Tide, Tide Hunter the... just blinking in blindly. Yeah. You gotta just trust it. And you have to go for the Insta Ravage. You can't hesitate when Gyro has a BKB. You need to catch him by surprise and hope that he doesn't react. If he BKBs before that Ravage hits, totally different fight. Yeah, Yapsor's Magnifiers and the uh, Ice Bats were really on point. Storm Spirit tried to go for a risky play. I mean, that's what you need to do. Buy back, try to get a Roche. Didn't happen. He so still got now some he's kills out of it. Yeah, so. but he's in a really bad spot right now. Yeah. Great sequence of events for Secret. One of those stressful moments where if Storm does manage to get the Aegis on the ground, it's kind of worth it in the end for, for Newbie. But ultimately, just not respecting that surprise blink smoke and i love the way secret the, they came come from that direction probably because they expect if they come from the standard direction on the top side of the roshan pit someone's going to be there to pop the smoke so they take that route least likely for their smoke to pop oh they're pinging it well they may see wind ranger this ward gets vision they have the hawk on them the jumper though nope they're gonna go for the other target they get the roar out they want to get this strand he doesn't have bkb once again he's bursted down no BKB, he buys back instead, but this gyro BKB is just charging for it. Takes out the tide, doesn't have the Io to back him up anymore. And Sven, charging on in, doesn't have God for a couple more seconds, and it looks like Newbie may just try and disengage. Io, he tethers into an ice bath. Not quite what he was hoping for there. One or two more right clicks may finish him off. Nisha, trying to chase him down, being slowed a little bit. He doesn't get the relocate out. He's Nisha, one second he's gonna away, die again. Die yeah, Nisha. Crystal Maiden, out of mana here. We'll survive. Bounty runes are spawning. It looks like Nubia will get all four of them. Die back from the Sven, who's even kind of further thing. from the BKB all of a sudden. Yeah, as you said, this Gyro with the BKB, they have nothing to address, address that problem. And Sven goes down so quickly. They use the Solar Crest offensively Radiant's after tower. Storm zips in. He just melts. Yep. I thought they were going to go for the Wind Ranger, but that Sven without BKB is the better target for sure. And Yeah, I mean, Newbie uh, showing up and playing some fantastic Dota here at TI. This game far from over. It's a 1k gold lead and a kill lead for Secret. But both game one and now game two, they are looking like a formidable opponent who has pretty much been close to on par with Team Secret, one of the, perhaps the best team in the world. Gyro's thinking about uh, what he wants to go for next. Has Silver Edge queued up. He wants to be able to break the Tide Hunter. Bad option, of course. See if he fully commits to that or not. Actually, not your everyday conventional Dyer's item pickup. Expect to see. I mean, if Beastmaster went for a Shadow Blade that we talked about, he could have uh, upgraded the Silver Edge at one point. 
Yeah, and instead that's the Vlad's and the BKB queued up. I like the BKB though, you're playing into this, the Tide Hunter. It does feel like one of those items you want on all three of your cores eventually. And yeah, Storm, he's got it queued up Dyer's and about to be completed. Fighting Storm late game is tricky. Sven is not one of those carries that likes playing into Storm as well. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I feel like be a tricky game for secret as we head into the late game but we saw what they could do last game they yeah, never underestimate team secret yeah adrian's jakira i feel like that's an item i do not see all too often jakira that's a lot of mana on jakira even has arcane boots working towards that uh, guardian greaves close to that level 20 would love that gpm talent i'm sure The extra cast range on Ice Bat is real. They allow you to maybe catch a storm or someone by surprise. This will settle down a 1k gold lead for Newbie. Top tower is under attack. Respecting somewhat potent team fight, Tide Hunter. And they have given Sven time and room to finish off his BKB. He's got it now. So Nisha. I mean, pretty happy with that one. Shadow Demon has one job. Just keep an eye on Sven. If they initiate on him and he does not have a BKB, he needs to cast a disruption on yep. him. They'll have a BKB, but there's still the roar potential where they can try blow him up in roar. Snaking is the, the key here to watch as far as newbie's concerned. Comes to killing these core. We'll see what Storm does. Storm's one of those series that can just jump on someone like Shadow Demon. So you have to be so careful with your positioning if you're puppy because... You're kind of public enemy number one as far as CCNC is concerned. What are we doing? Some of these later towns. Level 20 uh, Beastmaster, so he gets the 500 health. Gyro is pretty under leveled, only hitting 18 so far. Well, who's, who's stealing his levels? That's right, Io. <laughs> He's 16, yeah. Key level Storm 22. And, I mean, Gyro's just have to play fairly safe and cautiously for a lot of this game. Windrunner's level 20 talent, of course, one of the more obnoxious ones in the game, the ability. You almost always see, I'd be surprised to see Shuck. Dyer's top tower is under attack. He went for a shackle shot cooldown talent. Oh, so maybe he is going for the... I mean, sorry. invisibility we'll is really great, <laughs> especially now Dyer that sentries are, are limited. up so we'll see he's gonna be hitting that little 20 fairly soon as this time around the smoke from secret gets some deep wards down and sets them up to go for this tier one top tower as well as potentially take this next roshan but newbie smoke on past it immediate shadow blade there's a sentry waiting puppy he's gonna get jumped with the orca there and the gyrocopter he's being chased up the ice pass into rabbit deletes him and storms for it didn't even finish off the shadow demon they're dropping like flies newbie get punished. They tried to smoke and contest bounty runes, but they instantly lose their gyrocopter, and they're going to lose the Io in the end as well That's to a double damage. Double Wind damage, Ranger. Wind Ranger. Brutal stuff. Having that glimmer cape to save Puppy and the disruption into Ice Bath. Oh boy. Sneaking. He's forced to roar. He still looks like he may just go down here. See him by his back, but I don't think they're going to keep him alive. Glimmer, glimmer. glimmer. Okay. They will. The CM buyback in the end. Perhaps worth it to save his life. Meanwhile on the bottom lane, Puppy pinging out. He can't solo Puppy. kill him, but he can cancel. Yes. Puppy needs to be careful. He's just gonna, oh, no. He's gonna go aggressive. He's gonna run away. Okay. Radiant are scanning. What was that? Is my storm gonna die kind of scan? <laughs> He's like, wait, are they coming down here? I have no mana. The initiation was good from newbie. Go on Shadow Demon, try to blow him up, but uh, there was no follow-up. And the fact that the disruption was used on the gyro meant that the ice path was there and gyro just got blown up. He didn't get a chance to use BKB. Newbie themselves, they don't really have that insta save. Yeah, relocate can be a save, but Radiant's it's not instant and under wasn't there to help out the gyrocopter. Gyro has to be very Radiant's careful about how he plays these fights if he's going to front line like that. Risk himself getting initiated on before he can pop BKB. And Jakiro is level 20 right now.
casual GPM talent kicking in. About to finish his Guardian Greaves. Extra armor. Look at the amount of armor that they have. Lads. Solar Crest about to be finished on Tide Hunter. Puppy with a plate mail. This puppy thinks he's this is a guy that usually just buy casual buckets. This is not not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> he's moved on since then, but he's going for bigger armor pieces, you know. He's like, I'm getting a plate mail. I'm not giving my team armor, I'm just taking taking it for myself. Now Wind Ranger with a Lincoln. This is an annoying item because like Storm, if you're jumping on the back lines, like you don't really feel good about using your orchid to break it. Oh, Storm, speaking of which, gets jumped on the Ravage, follows up the Ice Pot stun. They've got the damage and the chain stun. They bring down CC and C. Stun, one second away. They almost had it with that. Oh, he didn't have the Storm Hammer cooldown, or he would have had it. He goes for the life still instead. These long range Ice Pot, that's the Ape Lens kicking in. CM, that's a dieback. His Dark is going to turn and fight with the BKB. Yuar trying to do what he can here, but he needs to be careful. That BKB is wearing off and wearing off soon. He tries to hunt down Puppy. We'll finish him off with the Maelstrom proc. And now it's going to be the Sven in trouble instead. The Sven's already popped BKB. The chase is on. CCNC wants this kill with the BKB of his own. It wears off now, but it's too late for Secret to save. Yeah, now they need to get the Roche. CCNC bought back on that Storm Spirit. And the Roche is up. Cheese and Aegis. Yep. Sven has a buyback, but uh, no ulti. Same goes for Puppy. They killed this pretty fast with the IO. Darags, it does look like this is not me contested. This is one of those uh, moments whether you think, do I buy back or not? Right now, he has ages, so really valuable for newbie. It's a must have ages when he just fought back there. Not have felt good about that buyback. His next respawn is going to be such a long one two minute plus respawn times and well we'll see what they can do 60 seconds without ravage if they can immediately storm goes back to base the second they get ages i think they would just want to go and fight right away before ravage comes back up it's kind of the ideal scenario yeah, they're relocating in the storm high spot is there waiting for them the stun hits them but there's no follow-up the ravage being on the corner they're gonna ball in looks like yapser he's gonna get caught on the jakiro and yeah they leave him to die he does not have a buyback. Well, he will have because of the GPM talent. Yeah, he's getting gold pretty fast. Dyer's it doesn't look like they'll pull this up. If they can drag this game for another, let's say, 15, 20 minutes, I think Newbie's gonna take it because yeah. BKBs are gonna drop. Sven will get easily kited. They're With the boars or just Crystal Nova, it's it's really hard to play Sven. Yeah. And. Uh, I mean, Chain decided to go for GPM talent. Yeah, I, saw, I just saw <laughs> that. I was like, oh, come on. No. Oh. They pulls out the BKB on Wind Ranger. Shadow Demon trying to come close, but the flag is just destroying Puppy. And now with the break, they're going to bring down the Wind Ranger falling in. They're looking for Puppy. Another ball lightning. Storm has a bit of mana left. He's used most of it, though. He needs to be careful. But with the Aegis, he feels very brave, and rightfully so. Puppy should go down to one or two more right clicks. The Orchid Pop is there, and that's going to be enough. Tier 1 tower. Looks like they should be able to get this one. Relocate! They've got it on the high ground! Hello! Oh. They found a Tide Hunter buyback from Puppy, but uh, they're not gonna get anything out of this. They just went in balls deep. Why the hell not? They just killed Tide. He hasn't got buyback. He said for 55 seconds. That's huge. Can they just go high ground off of this? They can. I mean, they should be careful about the Tide Hunter because they don't know if he has a buyback or yes. not. They were, we're, we're but they want to check, it, yes. But, yeah. It's one of those things they may just want to force it and then disengage. So they're going to be very cautious about their high ground push, potentially. They put the Gyro on the high ground with the Solar Crest buff. And the Storm, who, if you see that buyback, you're bowling out. But that buyback is not coming. And this is looking like we'll see a melee Rex go down. They see they see Nisha mid, and I think Nisha being mid tells them they're not buying back. They're giving us his free racks. Otherwise, Nisha would be here if they were going to defend. And they get themselves a rack. What a fantastic aggressive play from Newbie. Going in on the high ground with that relocate, taking out the tide. And oh they just cleaned the three towers and the full set of barracks. 20, level 25 talents are... Getting closer, Beastmaster level 24 right now, Gyro 23. Storm's just about to hit 25 and he's got one of those crazy 
After he hits level 25, good luck. It's Light Game Storm. This is one of the best Light Game carries in the game. Obviously, it sounds a bit counterintuitive to those of you maybe newer to Dota since it's not a right-clicking carry, but it's his global mobility. The more items you get, the more your mana pull is. You can just ball anywhere on the map. You have such insta-kill threat when you have that long-range ball lightning, which does more damage the further the you use your ultimate. It's just so impossible and difficult to ever catch and kill CC. And if you have buyback or Aegis as Storm in late game, it's so scary to play into. They still have Aegis for a minute. They want to take advantage of that. Buyback on Storm on cooldown for another three minutes. And the Aegis only for 50 seconds. So there's this small window where the Aegis will expire and buyback will still be on cooldown. That's maybe where Secret try and strike. This is the window where Newbie does not want to take a fight. They, they will take a fight right now or... Basically right now or... Yeah. <laughs> They've got about... 15 seconds. Tower, 30 seconds on the ages, but you don't want to take the fight when there's like five seconds left on eight. So I'll take a tier two, and I think this is probably it for them. Yeah, they take the creep wave, they back off to the high ground, age is about to expire. The call may be just to try and get some more of these like level 25s and play a bit more for the late game. Both Beast and Gyro sing on level 24 now. Complete map control going newbies way after fantastic game one. They are once again setting themselves up to succeed here. No tier two towers left. Aegis is gone. Roach may respawn in okay. less, a bit less than three minutes. More GPM talents. Both newbie supports with these 150 GPM talents. As for the dire side. No GPM talents for poor Shadow Demon, just the Jakiro. Imagine if uh, Shadow Demon had GPM talent on level 10. That'd be a good hero. <laughs> well, when they, I remember when they first added talents, it was when Shadow Demon was like the most OP 5 position, so they, to make up for it, they gave Shadow Demon like the worst talents in the game. It was like plus 5 strength at level 10, and you had every talent you got to Shadow Demon was just utterly terrible as a way to basically balance the hero, being too good. Now, you know, some of the talents are a little bit better. They're still not the scary. I like 30 XP, not bad. Movement speed, eh. It's okay. Soul Catcher on level 20 is big. Yeah, the, that's what we really see. Double disruption. I mean, 25 talents by nature. So beast. Slightly away. One or two more creeps away from hitting 25. Hulk cooldown, I would expect, or what? No, God, please you no. You think so? Nah. You want the inner, uh, inner beast attack speed is just insane, especially with Gyro's okay. flag, Storm Spirit. It's only 25, though. But yeah, okay, I, I see what you mean. It just seems like a smallish it's AoE attack. 25. <laughs> yeah, it's 25 for everyone. But, you know, it's just what? Gyro Storm are the ones right clicking. I'm with you. I, 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 like, I like both. I don't think either sounds like crazy OP oh, by enemy. And he, he goes gets for the hawks. hawks. He's on my side. Let's come. I know. Well, sometimes we gotta look stupid so we can uh, yeah. be smart. Yeah, yeah. Normally that's me looking like the stupid one here. Nah, don't you try to take it away from me. What else we got? Sven, his 25 coming up. Don't worry. Gyro 25 coming up. That's definitely going to be the global cooldown. Such a good level 25 talent, Lacoste. What about the homing, homing missile charges? <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. You can uh, pop the Lincolns. Oh, the oh, 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 Ranger. I, I was trolling you. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Cool. I don't know. I mean, oh, you yeah. said the Hawk. I was to disagree oh, yeah. on that one. Yeah, yeah. That's true. This is why Dota is such a beautiful yeah. game, because everyone oh. can have opinion. I think Global Cooldown 25 is maybe like the worst 25 in the game. One of the worst. Have you ever played position 4 Gyro? It's a good no. one. You, get, you don't get level 25 that much on position 4 though. But posi even position 4 Gyro, I still want the homing missile. <laughs> Not the hom homing missiles. Yeah, even way, as way position better. 4, I'd, I'd still want that. It's like a good stun and nuke as well. Late game BKBs get pretty short too, so... Global cooldown. 
I think the cooldown used to do more damage, which is where it kind of felt okay, but they keep they kept nerfing the missile damage. Where it was like, it doesn't even, if it killed a creep wave, that's one thing, but it doesn't even kill a creep wave. It's 550 damage. Creeps have what? 610 health, so you know that's why you buy Kaya. <laughs> you, you that's the next this level play. For, okay. Yeah. I guess what, with the bonus damage? Is Spell that? Spell amp, 372. He's at 580. Damn it, it's still not enough. He's still not killing creep bites with it. With Kai, it would be enough, I guess. Yeah, it would. Alright. I don't think he's got the slots for Kai in his item nah, nah. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't don't listen wipe. to us, we're just um, theory crafting. This is not yeah. your typical pub game, this is Team Secret against Newbie. These seems to save those strats for TI 10. Here we go, down the mid lane we go. Smoked up, playing around that next Roshan. It's respawn in two seconds time. Just know how important it can be. And Storm, uh, Sven did hit level 25 himself, so Nisha has that talent. CM needs to be a little bit careful. That long range ice path initiation. Four stuff away. Now they know where Secret are. You kind of expect them to be around this Roshan pit, but they've got the confirmation. Over with a gem. Important to be able to kill these damn pesky hawks. Can't let your opponents have this big vision advantage. Although, several of them still scouting the map. Oh, Ags, this is big. If newbie can take this one, give Ags the Storm Spirit, you basically oh, yeah. have a Ravage. Well, we will have Ravage against Ravage. It looks like it's being claimed uncontested for now. Can they get here in time? They see Wind Ranger in the face. They see Shadow Demon, I believe, up top as well. And uncontested Roshan. Is mine. Who's taking the axe? Jaro's got it. Okay, it gives it to Storm. For a second, I was like, is Jaro going to use this just so we can get an extra item slot? Regeneration. It's such a good axe upgrade on Storm. Storm with region, Crystal Maiden Aura. Look at him zipping. Yeah. It's pretty damn nice. At this point, everyone has a buyback. All 10 heroes. And for the oh, gyro, careful. Get that buyback, my friend. Yeah, he's back. He's about to... I think, yeah, he's got the Mjolnir coming out in Courier. Or it will be soon. Mjolnir plus buyback. 10 buybacks. This is the late game Dota. We've seen every single game today has been 50 plus minutes on Alps Ring. Well, I don't know about the games about where we were here, but we had TNC versus Keen. That was some crazy late game Dota. And here, Secret and Newbie delivering quality Dota as well. This will come in handy. Bounty Rune's going to spawn. And for now, it's Newbie just increasing their lead bit by bit. Got this economy going. They've got those GPM talents. Two GPM talents against one. <laughs> Easy math, huh? All right, absolutely. The 19k is the math. That's that's how much that extra GPM town was worth. Storm Spirit is farming the map way too fast right now. Yep. Do they break high ground with this Aegis? What's what do you think the plan kind of is? I think they just want Storm Spirit to have his uh, buyback because he fully committed has that uh, Lincoln Sphere right now. Push out all the waves and then take a team fight. This bottom lane will kind of naturally push itself with the Rax plane, so they are kind of waiting for that hero to expose itself. Yeah. And they probably remember what happened last game. They were in basically this exact position. I don't know if it was this much of a gold lead, but they went for a high ground push and they this, died. This is the timing if they wanted to go for. Like uh, 45 minutes to yeah. siege units. But they. Yep. Oh, Storm Spirit or Kane Rune. Catapults are approaching, it's go time. I think they're just a little bit scared from last game. That high ground push where they had the life still as slow sieging the base I and they got jumped and this. lost the game. They're just a little bit tentative to make a play. They do smoke up and they will be sending those hawks to get them some vision. Yeah, Storm's just gonna jump in and see what he finds. Trying to bait out some spells. Doesn't even commit too much of his mana pool for this. With the regen he's got. And they are going to get the D wards going. They just want to control the vision around this area. They don't necessarily need that high ground ward when they've got Hawk. Storm going to 
continue to try and force out some spells. It's Gyro gets gone and he does not have an agent. Satanic, yeah, but with the Satanic and the Ayo backing him up, Dolphin is jump on the back lines here. Wants to maybe find Nisha. Nisha's BKB has been popped, and with the BKB wearing off, it's going to get all of the secret to take this fight. Titanus still has Blink Ravage though. Yeah, they don't necessarily need to commit because top lane is also pushing to Siege units, Ooh. dealing a lot of the damage to the towers. Yep. And uh, I think they're just gonna wait, reset, Sven just pop the ulti, and then go in. Yep, BKB down perhaps. Oh, well, or just the ultimate down. Storm just slowly regenning that mana back up. I say slowly, it's not really that slow. 60 mana a second with the CM Aura. I'll be ready to go fairly soon. They want to use this Aegis. Still minute and 20 left on it. Just the BKB they were really waiting. I think the Gyro BKB, they'll say, okay, let's let's wait for that. Sven may have BKB himself, but without Godstring, you're not exactly afraid of the Sven BKB. Storm just continuing to throw his mana at the Team Secret side. Trying to poke at them, but not really doing a whole lot of damage, but getting some good info. Even just these remnants being down gives you some kind of idea of when people remove, run and move forward. And now the gyro once again on the high ground. It's the secret high ground defense being tested once more. That right click damage with the MKB. So much damage as they do jump in on the Wind Ranger. Limber Cape is there. The cooldown being used just to kind of kite them around a bit. Nice ice pop to catch the gyro cop to stop him from running on it. Nisha getting fairly low here. Blacking off the racks here is Rocket. Noir. Yeah. Oh, Nisha. He's forced to pop his BKB just to keep himself alive. Doesn't want to die there. As Storm is completely out of mana. Aegis is gone in 20 seconds. They oh. should be careful. They want this melee rack, so I gotta imagine. Are they gonna commit for it? Gyrocopter can come back in. Hasn't got BKB anymore, but it looks like the melee rack is gonna go down. Gyrocopter gonna land here. Whoa. The falls it up with the ice path as well for the relocate out. Nicely done by the eye to keep him alive. Storm has to be careful now as well. That's the Aegis. They get the melee racks. The range rack is less important. It doesn't regen up. Storm. <laughs> Just zipping in, trying to put not, some vision with the remnants. Exactly, he's getting vision. He's not really going for kills. He's not really trying to do anything crazy. Like he's not afraid. He has uh, two defensive items, BKB and the Lincoln Sphere. Yeah. So they can't really pop it fast enough. Ideally, you'd want to stun him uh, or use Bloodthorn on him, but I don't think that's going to happen or put the disruption into Ice Bath. No way, just no problem. They're just not giving Titan an opportunity to go for a Ravage, but they are going to jump this gyro. Is there a save from the roll comes into play? It's going to buy him enough time with the Satanic. Status is it's Jarkov that gets off the BKB. Disruption's there. He's just flacking through everyone. He's absolutely destroying Team Secret. They lose the Titan. He's already used the Ravage as well. Mid one's going to be careful. He's running in with his own BKB. He wants to focus on the gyro, but the life still from the Satanic keeps him alive just long enough. Biomex come flying in, both Wind Ranger and Titan. Nietzsche's still on the front lines with the BKB. He doesn't need God Strength for now. He's still going to take out the Beastmaster. Force the buyback to CM Alder with the BKB. Doing all kinds of damage. The double pull coming in from the Agony of Septim. The Storm, they've taken out Sven. He buys back as well. Four buybacks being used. The Shadow Demon, it's a dieback from Puppy. And the last melee rack is going to fall here. This could be Megas. Secret losing the range racks at mid as well at the same time. They've come back from Mega Creeps once today already. They may be asked to do it again. But for now, they keep their melee racks alive. Just barely. I don't think Nubia are done though. Two they back submitted by Nubi. They want to go in, they want to finish this. Storm zipping in. Yep, gets the pull out as well. The homing missile falls it up. They just trying to buy some space, but Gyro has to be careful. He's got no buyback. The full stuff. We're going to pull him out of the base here. Storm, he's being shackled up. Can they get this Rax here? Gyro comes to running and getting incredibly low. You've got to be so careful. You are. He gets taken out. What are you doing? You are. He's dead for two minutes. They've got to get out. And Ice Pub comes in as well. Storm in trouble now as well. They've taken him out. He's got buyback. May have to use it. They lose the CM, they're just dropping one by one. It's deja vu from game number one as Ayo barely survives. <gasps> oh man, Gyro with the dieback. They do still have a big Rax advantage and I don't see Secret able to easily push out these lanes. They're gonna maybe try to do so knowing that Gyro cannot buy back. They could have focused their Raxes instead, get the Mega Creeps, maybe even Suicide for it. The, they used two buybacks for it, didn't even get it. You know what? If Beastmaster had the other level 25 talent, <laughs> the attack speed, they would have gotten it so easily. Yeah, but if they didn't have the Hulks, they wouldn't have been able to get that jump, you know. <laughs> Come on. It's, it's high, high calculus math NA plays. You know, Grant Grant would have some kind of explanation for it. The Storm trying to fall and take the Creep Wave out. He gets the Siege Creep in the end, but I believe that does take down the backdoor protection. As they can focus down the buildings, instead they're going for the kills, they know this is potentially a dieback, and the IO relocate save is there! Snake King kept the life just barely. 
Oh man. The back so protection dead. is kicking in and he's oh. just gonna clear the yeah. street wave. Good That's luck. the end of the push. They had a small window to take the racks. But then once that backdoor protection came back up, the push is over. Is there a Roshan of any sort? It's respawning. It's a long Roche respawn, unfortunately, for Secret. If it was up now, they would love to get them, their hands on an Aegis, Cheese, Refresher, and Agnum Scepter. But it's not. To so what level 25s do we have? Windranger just uh, hit hers in that previous fight. 30% cooldown yeah, reduction, yeah. which works on items as well. 9 second cooldown on Lincolns, and Jakira. 49 on... Uh, this is huge on Jakira, BKB. Ice Pass Duration. Oh yeah, Th that one is With actually insane. With an Octarine Core, 6.75 second cooldown Ice Pass. Wow. Only three seconds downtime. Yep. And the other 25s yet to come out. We're still waiting on the, some of these supports. Io, probably going for the relocate cooldown in this game. Doesn't have any damage items. It's, it's pretty good with Gyro having the Flak, of course, but We've seen these clutch relocate saves. Yeah, especially the if they get the uh, mega creeps. Yes. Puppy puts the ward down. They know something. Yeah, they saw the ward. They had a sentry there, but they're still going to get CF jumped on. They've got to cut their losses here. They know that the dire wolf is planted there. I think you just disengage. There's no. And they're going to go for rush. That's the problem. Yeah. There's no lanes that you're worried. You're not worried about losing racks here, but you are worried. You've just lost Roche control and. It's just a CM, but it's still a CM here. They dodge the rabbit. Oh, the satanic, the status resist again for the right department. Yeah, where is the, the life still? It's not there. They lose Jarrah. This is dieback. He didn't get the relocate out. Zombo is falling in. Gets the ravage of his own. He catches up four with the vortex. Ayo's got relocate back in, and he's going to pay the price. Does have buyback. Immediately pops it. Double gem on the ground. Oh, they're waiting. Bit sticking around. Where was Storm Spirit in that fight? I did not see where he was. Well, he, there's gonna be a huge zip. He is chasing. Ooh, he got it. No BKP, but there's Satanic for the status resist. He's getting shackled as well after an ice pot. They've just lost Storm. It's a dieback. Oh no. Team Secret, have they done it again? Have they pulled victory out of a hat? Beastmaster are shackled, walks back to the mid range. They're dead without buyback, and it's about to be four if they can't keep this Beastmaster alive. The Ayo pulls a BKB of his own in the back lines, and the creep wave, it hasn't been dealt with. Ghost Scepter. It's just Ayo. And he's been power shot it down. Mid one's gonna finish him off. They go for the team one. GG. Oh my god, I can't Holy believe shit. that the Team Secret actually won this game again. I, it was literally the exact same script as game one. Team Newbie. So you're saying Team Secret is using scripts? With the way they play, it sure as hell feels like it. Holy cow. What is, how does this team do it? They win these seemingly impossible to win games. They're just that good.